September the 6th, Wisconsin. And this is a, a quiet, cool, overcast day after a period of incredibly hot weather in the 90s. And it's time to consolidate and think about what's going to go into winter and what configuration they're going to go into. As you can see, the goldenrod's about done. I don't expect much more in the way of in the way of flow. So it's time to feed and get the bees up to weight before the it becomes too cold to process syrup. And so in order to start that process, the first thing to do is to kind of assess what you got. So I started I, I went through and I weighed all the all the five over fives, all the five over five over five over fives, which is a stupid configuration, it's really hard to pick up, and the, and the singles. And so what I found was the five over fives, their range is in the, in the, mostly in the mid 60s, which is 10 pounds, heavier than the ones I have at home, which makes sense because even though they were started at the same time, this is a, a better yard from the point of view of forage. The the um, five over five over five over fives, ridiculous combination as I mentioned, one of those was 120, one of those was 110. Um, that was pretty hard to pick up, but I did it. Now the top box of those of those was only put on when the goldenrod was was kicking in and we still got some decent forage around and so there's a, those I'm probably going to just take the top box off and then weigh that again and see what it weighs probably looking for about 110 pounds or so um previously I haven't wintered many five over five over fives, three, that's the three story ones, because it's cumbersome and, and heavy. And uh, last winter, um, I wintered, wintered some and they all did okay. So I might just leave that is, as is um, and see what it looks like with just the three stacks if I take these part drawn frames off. And then I've got four in singles and having them in singles uh, validates why it's a bit easier and more convenient to work in a five over five. It's a lot harder to pick up a single and look around the weight and it doesn't fit neatly on a backroom, it doesn't nearly fit, fit neatly on a bathroom scale. So those, those I'm going to, um, on a warmer day, I'm just going to drop them in a five over five and see what they look like. And then I've got seven in the yard in in double deeps and those um uh, those seven most of them had been producing me drawn deep frames of honey for the nukes or they've been producing honey in medium supers for uh, for people and so i've now got to consolidate those down and last year um a, a fella asked me what you know how can you take a double deep and stick it in a five over five if you wait until they've stopped producing brood? And I thought, I don't know. And so we tried it uh, with a couple of those, a couple of his and a couple of mine, and mine did okay, and his didn't. But it's an interesting strategy. So um, I'm going to probably end up with a couple that still remain in 10 frame equipment to which I'll give the orphan frames and just have a couple of stacks of 10 frame deeps and then go into either a five over five or a five over five over five with those remaining in double deeps. There's only one colony that's a little suspect and I ascribe that to probably beekeeping error because this one, which is a single, I got the entrance reducer fur further out than on the, on the others. The others I have, the, um, the larger colonies I have the introduce in a similar fashion. And the, and the smaller colonies I have the entrance reducer in on the large gap. 
And so now this was about 20 pounds lighter than the others, which makes me wonder if it's been robbed out or if it failed to build up or what else is going on. But I'm gonna wait for a warmer day to peak in there. But that one was, that single weighed 59 pounds, whereas the other singles were 82, 76, and 65. The four five frame thing was 120, and the four, other four stacks of five were 110. But as I said, those top ones were just down there as a valve to let out there, give take the bit of the pressure off. So, uh, in a few days, I'm gonna come back with uh, feeders, feed these colonies, and we're on the slow march towards winter.